This guy reached out to me through the comment section on my YouTube channel. He wanted to know if the dark color change of his toenails was something to be concerned about, especially a fungal infection. There's a family history of diabetes and some GI issues that he's had. So he wants to know if any of these or something even more serious could be related to what's going on with his toenails. Here's what they look like. You can see that his toenails are in pretty good shape. They're of normal length and normal thickness, but you can see the dark change, especially of the two big toenails. This condition is called melanichia. We see it quite often, actually. It also occurs in the fingernails as well as the toenails. Like in this gentleman's big toenails, when the entire nail is involved, this is called diffuse or total melanichia. A dark streak in a nail is called Melanichia striata. There are many causes of darkening of the nails. Of course, fungal toenail infection is one of the most common and one of the most that we're used to seeing, one of the most we're used to hearing about. But just because a nail is dark doesn't mean it's a fungal infection. Another very common reason why toenails get dark is from being a person of color. More than 50% of people of color have darkened toenails just because you're a person of color. Very few Caucasians have darkened toenails from their melanin production. Here are some other reasons why toenails can change color. Now, just because you see something here on the list, don't necessarily assume that you have this problem. Just don't go to Google and self-diagnose. So if you notice some color changes of your toenails and it's got you a little bit worried, go see a doctor, see a podiatrist, get those nails checked out. Get samples taken and sent to the lab so we will know if it's a fungal infection or something else, if it's a bacterial infection. Or if we may be concerned it could be skin cancer, we can take a biopsy of that nail and that piece of skin, send it to the lab, and that can be determined as well. Don't take these things into your own hands. Don't take what you just learned on the internet and run with it. See a professional to get these things checked out. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell, my friends. If you have any questions about your foot or feet health, or you have some questions about a friend or family member's foot issues, send me that information. Contact me through the comment section of these videos or hit me on the DMs in the social media at DC Foot Doctor. I'll be glad to answer questions so we can all get better educated about what we need to do about our foot health. Continue to help build this community and most importantly, take care of your feet.